There you see, folks, that's how easy it was to fool the scientists. Because the scientists said, oh, we're dealing with kids here. Kids can't fool PhDs. Oh, yes, they can. And they did. What's up, guys? Grant here with Rise Magic, and I am super excited to be doing this video for you guys today. This is one of my favorite effects that I've been doing for about eight years. I love it because it's super easy, really simple, impromptu, and it's genuinely impressive. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it today. But first, I just want to tell you about how I found out about it. One of my friends told me this story about eight to ten years ago, and I didn't realize it was true. But it was basically about these magicians who went into a research facility and wanted to prove to them that magic was real. What they did is they took two forks and had the scientists take both of them and examine them and make sure that they both were identical. They had the scientists say, you've affirmed that these are both identical, right? The scientists said yes. And so they said, well, which one do you want me to, you can have a choice, these were your spoons. These are your forks, you have a choice. And they said, well, let's do this one. They took the other one, put it down, and just told them to focus on this fork right here. Now, they were under monitor the whole entire time. People were watching them and they said, well, we're just gonna watch this spoon, this. We're gonna watch this fork right here and I'm just going to. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Do these psychic motions or whatever they wanna say and do whatever they're doing for a while. And honestly, they had forever to do it. They could go on for like nine minutes with like this intense focus, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't wanna make this 10 minute long video. But after all that, they went and said, okay, we're gonna take a look back at the first fork. And they took a look at them. And it was very, very slight, but, when putting them together, they were able to see, whoops. They were able to see that they had been bent ever so slightly, just like so. Now this completely baffled the research scientists and they went and presented their findings only for these two magicians, illusionists, psychics to reveal that they had been faking it the whole entire time. Now I thought that was a super cool story until I found that it was real. It was done by two psychics called Steve Shaw and Michael Edwards and something they called Project Alpha. If you want to know anything about it, I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia article in the description. Super cool, as well as some YouTube videos, anything else like that. Without further ado, let's get into how they actually pulled this off. Now some of you eagle-eyed fellows down in the comments are going to say you saw how you did already. If you did, congratulations, but I'm just going to go into it. <laughs> the only thing about this trick is that Honestly, it's not the most visual, and for some people it might not be the most impressive. But in terms of actually pulling off something that seems impossible, this trick is incredible. You are gonna start off with two forks and two that are completely identical. This one has already been bent by me, so uh, they're not gonna be completely aligned, but close enough. You're gonna take those two forks and spoon, or spoons and show them to your spectator and say, which one do you want me to bend? And this is where the important part comes in. You're gonna keep your fork that they chose, tell them to focus on it, and place the control fork down on a table or anything, however you want. Now the person who originally did this trick put it on the table in front of them, and when they were showing them lean forward and bent it very casually with their forearm or something like that. Now if you're on a table like I do right here, and you place it down, you can just Casually put a little bit of weight on it. These forks are pretty thick, so it takes a little bit of effort. But just like that, you will have a fork that is bent separately to the control fork. Because what you're doing is rather than bending the fork that you're showing to them, you already bent the control so it'll seem like it's bent afterwards, which is the key to this trick. Other than that, there's really nothing to it. You can bend, wave your hands, try to be all. Whatever you want to do, and afterwards, you can reveal that you successfully did bend a fork. 
But that's it, it's really that simple. It's such an easy, fun trick that you can just keep in your back pockets and pull out whenever you need something quick, impromptu, and fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps our channel out a lot. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing for great videos like this weekly. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.